Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a lifted 2024 GMC Sierra 3500 Denali Ultimate. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for providing me with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is the new Duramax, which is a 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 470 horsepower and the 975 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end of this truck, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting at the top, you guys can see this one has the cab lights and then look at the hood, how everything is body painted, including the venting here. You can see it's blacked out there in the center. The attention to detail on this truck is fantastic. And then taking a look at the lights, by the way, they don't do that in real life. That's just because the frame rate of the camera, it's, it's solid in real life. But anyways, look at how it's all painted inside with this custom truck. It's so cool. You got the HD logo here off to the side and then you can see the whole grill has been blacked out with the white accenting around the GMC logo. And then we do have the regular parking sensors here at the bottom. Notice the bumper is body painted and then you can see it's blacked out here at the very bottom with the tow hook area and then Got a little 3500 logo here off to the side too. Putting it all together, I mean the front end of this truck with everything being blacked out or body painted just looks so cool. But let me know what you guys think. Now popping around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 37 by 13 and a half by 24 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see with the theme of this particular truck, the center of the, well, most of the wheel right in the center is all blacked out. And then you guys can see it's kind of uh, silver slash white there in the very center, which just looks really cool. And yeah, I'd say these tires are pretty dang aggressive. And then you can see they've upgraded the shocks with this particular package. Now when it comes to the lift, it looks like this is about a six inch lift. It might be a little bit um, higher than that. Um, but there's your whole setup there with the lift and everything. Got the body painted fender flare here on the notice how the little marker here on the side has been blacked out. And then the ultimate Duramax badge also been blacked out as well. And you can see there on the mirror cap at the top and then you can see the rest of it is body painted. And then the door handles also body painted. Of course, we got the step here on the side and then popping into the very rear, got the big leaf springs because it's a 3500 series truck. But you can see they've upgraded the shocks here in the rear as well. And then here is the full side view and the stance of the truck. And let me tell you, this thing is absolutely massive. Just to give you guys a sense of scale with this truck, that's a stock 3500. Here's the lifted one. I mean, it's it's so crazy to see them next to each other. The lifted one makes the stock one just, I mean, that almost looks like a car now. So here's a key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, the drop down for the tailgate, and then the GMC logo there on the back. We'll press this a couple times and tailgate will pop right down. So popping to the bed, you guys can actually see the stock side steps that come with this truck. I'll show you guys the upgraded ones that this one has now. But it says Denali there on the back. Got LED lighting here in the bed. And then there's actually a full power outlet in the bed as well. And then this actually has the multi-pro setup, which I mean, because of how lifted the truck is, and by the way, you got the kicker sound system. Like you basically would have to do like, <laughs> you'd have to lift up your leg pretty high to be able to access it, which I think is quite hysterical. But yeah, there's the bed. Now lifting up the tailgate, you can kind of just lift it up all in one motion right there. Got the GMC logo here in the back and then they've kind of cleaned everything else up because they took off the rest of the badging you normally get back here. And then look at the taillights, they've been completely blacked out. And then you still have the bumper step back here, got your parking sensors on your body painted bumper and then you can see the huge exhaust tip. Putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the looks on this lifted truck with everything being body painted and all of that. Now, since this is a Denali Ultimate, you get the Denali Ultimate interior. I mean, look at the leather trim and the wood and then the cross stitching down below. I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. And we got power side steps. And then you guys can see with the seat, you got the white piping around and then the white stitching. And we got the topographical map action. And of course, we still have the behind the seat storage and then really nice perforated leather all down the center portion. And you got storage underneath as well. And then this is obviously the crew caps. You got plenty of legroom and everything. 
And then you got your cup holders here, heated seats, got some USBs and vents, all of that. Man, it's such a beautiful cabin area. I mean, look at that. And now taking a look at the front door panel, you can see more of the same with the really nice leather trim and then the wood trim here. You get your memory seat function and then cross stitching here and then more of the topography down below. Speaker for the Bose sound system. Um, you guys can see the front two windows are automatic. You do have your mirror extension function with this, which is always a cool feature. And then the mirrors do power fold in. They also have blind spot monitoring. And then look at the front seat. That white piping, I feel like matches the exterior pretty well. Got your ultimate logo there. And then you can see perforated all down the center portion. All of your power adjustments, you got the massage seat function right here as well. And then you guys can see the payload on this truck, 3645 for those of you wondering. And then we got our drive mode select here with our tow haul mode select at the bottom. Got the rest of the light controls and then our drive line select. So we've got our four wheel auto, four wheel high, two wheel high, and then four wheel low. And then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. And then also your heads up display controls are right there. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you can see really nice leather trim all around. We've got the Denali logo here in the center. And then look at the trim at the bottom of the steering wheel. That's also really nice looking. Radio controls on the back. We got our controls for the center stack. We also have our adaptive cruise control with our heated steering wheel button on the steering wheel. Got a little turn signal windshield wiper stock. And then we have a column shifter here with this. Get your plus and minus so you can shift the gears yourself. And then here's the center gauge cluster, fully digital. And then we can scroll through some different menus, see different bits of info on the truck. But the cool thing is little animation. So there's for the tow haul mode. And then you can see the off-road mode. And obviously it has a regular Sierra there as the depiction. And all I gotta say is this isn't a regular Sierra anymore. Now I've got GM's full 360 camera system with this, as you can see. And even though the truck is obviously lifted quite a bit, I mean, it still, still functions <laughs> as it should. Uh, and so really good camera system, really good resolution and tons of viewpoints. Now sorry about the glare in this shot, um, but you've got the New infotainment system, which has really good response time, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Got the shortcut bar here on the side, and then you got the little auxiliary tab there, which responds really well. And then look at the little tuner dial. That's pretty cool. And then you got two home screen buttons right next to each other, which is kind of funny. Look at the engine stop start button. That looks pretty sweet. Dual zone climate controls. Uh, we also have heated and ventilated seats with this. So heated, ventilated, and massaging. What more could you ask for? Diesel exhaust brake. You got your lane departure, parking sensors, your tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control. And then your hill descent control and then more storage up front and then got some usb action right there trailer brake controls as well and then look at the nice padding right here with the stitching i think it looks great and then of course we have our ultimate plaque here in the center which also looks fantastic and yeah just the overall like center console setup i think it looks really solid it does have the wireless phone charging pad inside and then full outlet there as well and then on the dash here Look at this stitching and everything, looks fantastic. And then the trim down below also looks great. And then we of course have the dual glove box set up here. So pretty standard thing. And then yeah, look at this stitching and piping. Beautiful interior, that's for sure. And then at the very top, we do have the rear view camera mirror with this. And then we have a sunroof, just a regular one. And then you got the power sliding rear window. And then it's gonna be hard to see on camera, but we do have the nice premium headliner. So that's another thing that comes with the Denali Ultimate. Now, when it comes to pricing, a loaded up Denali Ultimate 3500 stickers for right around $97,000, $98,000. That's obviously before the paint match everything and then also the lift, the tires, and the wheels. And so my, this is just a guess, my guess on how much this build would cost if you were to do it yourself, truck included, probably somewhere in like the 115000 ish dollar range after labor and everything. So somewhere around that, maybe even up to 120000 dollars roughly it just depends on labor costs and all that which again they, they fluctuate based on the uh, place you go to and everything but capping things off i'm really excited that i was able to review this truck because this is actually the first time i've ever seen a new body style gmc sierra 3500 with a lift and everything and it looks absolutely fantastic it really does work with the truck especially since everything has been paint matched and so again i want you guys to let me know what you think about this overall build is this what you'd go for or would you do something a little bit more i guess traditional where you know you just keep the truck the same so you wouldn't do all the body painted elements but maybe just do a lift and I don't know, maybe chrome wheels. I think uh, a lot of people are doing chrome wheels again, but I don't know. I have, I just have a thing for these like blacked out wheels because it just makes this look like a sportier truck. But anyways, that's going to sum things up. Big shout out and thank you to National GMC. I'll see you.